In this video, I'm going to show you how to make digital video invitations to sell on Etsy. And make sure you watch until the end of the video where I share with you an unsaturated niche on Etsy for selling video invitations. Now this video will be very similar to my tutorial that I did on creating and selling those mobile digital invites, except what we're going to be doing today is we will be animating those digital invites so that they become a video. So these video invitations are going to be sent out electronically. There will be no printing here, just like with the mobile uh, digital invites. So your customers are going to be using these video invitations as templates. They're going to edit it. Then what they are going to do is they're going to download it as a video MP4 file, and they will send it electronically to their family and friends. Welcome back guys. And if you're new here, my name is Lauren Keys, and on this channel, I share all things creating and selling digital products. Selling video invitations on Etsy is a profitable sub niche within the invitations niche. And it kind of makes sense now that more and more people are wanting, you know, all things video now. So let's get into the video. So the first thing I recommend you do is head into Etsy, type birthday video invitation into the search bar and just have a look through all the other digital video invitations to get inspired by and to get an idea of maybe what niche you want to focus on. So as you can see, there are various niches you could go into like um, little kids, birthday parties, adult birthday parties, there's weddings, engagements, um, and as you can see, a lot of these are bestsellers as well. So yeah, you could definitely get very, very creative here and have lots of fun. So for this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a video invitation like this to sell on Etsy. Keeping in mind, um, what I'm showing here is just a very uh, basic foundation and you can just get really, really creative with um, all the other things that you can do such as um, adding your own uh, graphics in from other websites. You do not have to use elements from Canva. I'm just showing you because it's just, it's really easy to just grab things from the Canva library, keeping in mind as long as they're free elements and use them in your designs. But if you want to go and just make things just a little bit more different, feel free to go and purchase external uh, graphics and things like that, such as Creative Fabrica. I'll talk a little bit more about that um, later on. So let's have a look at what this looks like. So we've got video and animated uh, text and graphics there. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. So once you are in your Canva account, you want to head up to the purple button where it says create a new design. And all you want to do here is just type in mobile video. And the size is 1080 by 1920. That's the one that we want to use. Okay, so whenever I use videos in a background for something, I always like to do the background quite dark. So I always do black and I'll show you why I do that. So I want to have a video as the background. Keeping in mind, you do not have to have a video playing in the background because when you animate the text and graphics, it's still going to turn it into a video, if that makes sense. So for this particular digital video invitation, I'm going to just head to the search bar. So I'm going to click on elements and I'm just going to search. I'm going to just type in party because that's the theme for this birthday party. So I'm just going to type in party and I'm going to head up to the filter here. I'm going to click on free because I only ever use free elements in all my templates. Okay. So from here, what you want to do is uh, go over to where it says videos. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of videos here related to parting that I could use. So I'm going to use this video here. So I'm just going to click on it. And then what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to set it as the background. So I just click on these three dots where it says more replace background. Beautiful from here so that you can see the text a lot easier. This is why I have a black background. So I just click on the back there head up to where it says transparency and I'm going to bring it down. So see how the background, because I've got black underneath there, 
you're going to be able to see the text so much more easier as opposed to if there if I didn't uh, lower the transparency so I'm probably going to leave it at about 60 and because it is a video you will notice at the top bar here it says edit video and then it's got the length of the video I do not want this uh, digital video invitation to be 11 seconds long so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on trim and then I am going to, cause this is just the first page of this video invitation. So I want this to be about three and a half, four seconds long. I'm just gonna go with four seconds. So that's what's going to be playing in the background. And guys, if you are getting value from this video, hit that like button and subscribe. Okay, from here, I want to add in some cool graphics just to make it interesting. So still in elements, I'm just going to type in uh, balloons. And as you notice, the filters here is still showing only free as well. So from here, I'm going to click on graphics. And then I'm going to choose these balloons here. Now it's a little bit big, so I'm just going to make that a bit smaller I'm gonna put it in the corner and I want it to be tilted so it's not so like rigid so we just go to those two little arrows there and we just tilt it like that and I like this one here so we'll just make that smaller and then we'll also tilt that to the side like that all right let's add in some text so we just go to the left side here where it says text. We're going to click on heading and then I'm just going to drag that out to make it bigger. And this is going to say, let's party. Now to change the font of this, we head up here to where it says font. We're going to click down there and I'm going to use the font called Brittany. because I really like this font and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to stretch it out and I want that to be on an angle as well. So I'm just going to tilt it like that. Now to make this pop and stand out a little bit more, especially like to do with parties, I like to um, give it a special effect. So if, if you just highlight, you just click on the text area on that text box, head up to effects and then you can choose the kind of effect style you want to have on that text just so it's not so plain. I'm going to choose neon and see how that just brightens things up so much better. Now I'm going to add some more text. So heading again and then this is going to say come celebrate. Okay, so we've got the first page of our video invitation done. We've got some graphics there. We've got a video in the background and we've got text. So what we want to do now is we want to animate these images here. So these graphics and the text. So to do that, all you do is, uh, and whether you are uh, using elements like graphics from Canva, or if you are going to be uploading in your own images that you've purchased um, from external sites, such as Creative Fabrica, you will be able to also animate um, those graphics as well. So once you've uploaded your graphics into your Canva account, you will um, insert it onto your design and then you'll be able to do this. So to animate these graphics, all you do is just click on the graphic, head up to the top where it says animate, and then you can choose uh, the animation that you want, like how you want it to appear. So I'm just gonna choose that one there, it's called rise. And I'm gonna choose that for that balloon down there. So we're just gonna click on rise. If you do not want the animation on the image anymore, so you don't want it to move, you just head down here to the purple button where it says remove animation and you can start again or have no animation. Okay, let's animate the text. So to animate the text to make it move, you just highlight the text box and it's the same thing. You just go through and choose uh, the type of animation you want. So I like the typewriter one. So I'll have typewriter there for that one. Uh, let's make this text box, this text typewriter as well. So, yep, I'm happy with that. 
Okay, let's move on to the second page of this video invite. So to add, a, and also I want you guys to know, you don't have to have a second page. This is optional. Um, you can have everything just on this one page here and have like the date, the time, the RSVB, RSVP details. You can have that all on the one page and have this as a video invite. That's fine. I just think it's nice um, to just have the, the second page. So to add a page, just head down to the bottom here where it says add a page. And there you have it. So that's your second page there. And I'm going to also keep that black as well um, so that we can continue to see our text clearly. Okay, so same thing. I want to have a video in the background for this. So what I'm going to do, go back to elements and this time I'm going to type in champagne. Once again, filtering it so that we only see free elements because really you should only be using free elements in your Canva templates. Otherwise, if your customers I say this in all my videos, but people always ask if your customers do not have a Canva Pro account, they're not going to be able to edit and download the templates and um, it's just not a nice experience on um, for them. Okay, so typed in champagne and now I'm going to head to videos. So these are all the free videos that I could use in the background of this digital invite. So I'm going to choose this one here with everyone, um, the group of people drinking champagne. So I'm going to replace the background. Now, I don't like that part of the video. So what you do is you double click it and you move it along to where you like the part of the video to be seen. So I like that there. Yeah, that looks good. Once again, I am going to take the transparency down so that we can see the text easier. So yeah, I might do 50 for now. That should be good. And I want to change the length of this video because as you can see here in the top right hand corner, see the play button. It shows you how long your video is, your video invitation. That's too long. I don't want it to be that long. So when I click on the back of this particular page, it says up here that this video is 11.6 uh, seconds long. I'm just going to click trim and I'm going to shorten this to about uh, maybe like four, four and a half seconds um, because this has, this is going to have a lot more text on it. And so you want um, your fam, you want people to be able to um, have a long enough time to read the details of the event. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Click done. And then same thing as the first page, we're just going to start adding in text. So this will just be like the, the details. Okay, so I've got all the details for the event. I've just added those um, same as the first page there. You just click on text, click on heading, and then it'll come up as a text box and then you can enter in um, whatever you need to there. So let's uh, animate the text once again. So we just highlight that, click on that text box, and then we can animate it. And I'm just going to go through and do that for all these uh, text boxes here. Okay, so all of these text boxes here have been animated. I would like to add something else to it just to make it like pop a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to elements and I'm going to type in sparkles. And if you have a look down here, some of the graphics are actually moving. And so these are really cool to add into these video invites as well, just for that little bit of extra like pop. So I'm going to use that there. So I'm just going to make it smaller and I have that over there. And yeah, I'm going to use that again. I'm going to move it down there somewhere. So we'll just duplicate that and Maybe move that there, maybe make it a bit bigger. And so let's have a look and see what this looks like. So this video invitation is currently um, 
8.6 seconds long. I think that's okay. So this is the video in action. This is how it's going to appear um, for your customers. And so like I was saying before, if you find that Canva does not have the graphics or the photos or even videos that you'd like to use in your invites, you can always just head to uh, websites such as Creative Fabrica and you can buy um, some graphics from their videos, pictures, whatever it is that you want. And then you can upload them into um, Canva and use them in your templates. Just make sure that you are looking at the licensing like terms to make sure that you are allowed to use them in your templates. I'm going to leave the link below to Creative Fabrica because that's the place that I go to whenever I need to buy clip art, uh, fonts, graphics, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so from here, you want to grab the template link so that you can actually sell them on Etsy as a you know video invitation template. So to do that, you head up to share in the top right hand corner and you are going to head down here to where it says template link. Keeping in mind, if you don't see the template link uh, button there, if you click on more, it'll be in there. So you just click on uh, template link. And then you click the purple button where it says create template link. Now it tells you your template link is live. So what you want to do is you want to copy the template link and you want to put that into a PDF download file. So I'm just going to show you a quick example of how you can do this. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I have a full video tutorial on how to actually create the PDF um, for the template link. So I'll leave the link to that here and in the uh, description area as well of the video. So this is just an example. These are the PDF download files that I use. They're very, very simple. So what you'll do is I'll just start again. You are going to head over. I always just do subheading for this because it's smaller and it was called just whatever the name is of your Canva templates. So this was just let's party invite. Highlight the text and then where it says link, the little link symbol, click on that. And then you're just going to paste in that template link we just copied. And as you can see there, it says let's party invite. It's highlighted. So that means the link is attached uh, to that bit of text. From here, you want to download your PDF file as PDF standard so that your customers will be able to click on this link. So you just click download. So your customer will download the PDF file. They're going to click on the link and this is what it's going to look like. They will be brought to this page here. You'll say a template created by you, your name was shared with you and then they are going to click on use template for new design. And then there you have it. They get a copy of that video invitation and now they are free to go, go through and edit all the details. So just make sure that you let your customers know that they do need to download the file type in MP4 video, which it should be uh, like automatically suggested there because of all the moving elements and the video in it. But just be very thorough with that, that they need to download it in that file type um, for it to be a video. And then your customers will electronically send these digital video invitations out to their family and friends, whether that's via Facebook Messenger, email, text message, WhatsApp, you know, however they want to sell it, like send it electronically. Um, that's how they're going to receive it. And that's the beauty of it because a lot of people don't really want to have to be printing out things and sending them. So this is why I believe that this particular niche for selling on Etsy is it's just such a great idea and it, it's not overly saturated right now. Okay, so that unsaturated niche for selling these video invitations on Etsy is wedding video invitations. Okay, so how do I know this? Well, I'm going to show you. So I'm using Sales Samurai here. So I'm just going to go to uh, search and we're going to go to the basic search and I'm going to type in 
wedding video invitation. Okay, so wedding video invitation. So it's a long tail, long tail keyword. And so this is what uh, it's showing me. It shows me that there's 21,000 people searching on Etsy every month for wedding video invitations. And the Etsy competition is well under 10,000. Like, look at that. There's only 6,000 people right now who are um, using this uh, particular keyword. Uh, but there's this many people searching for it on Etsy. And as you can see, there's just all green ticks here. So to me, that is an uh, excellent product to um, start selling. So if you are in the wedding niche, maybe, or maybe you sell invites, uh, you know, adding wedding video invitations to your store will be um, a great idea. So it's really just about doing your research, you know, because a lot of people would look at invitations, that niche and be like, oh my gosh, it's just too saturated and they won't even bother going there. But if you just keep digging that little bit further, there's always a way that you can sort of like make your way into these niches. And so wedding video invitations would be um, yeah, such a great little idea there. Um, and so what you'd want to do is then go into Etsy and then type that in. So let's have a look. So wedding video invitation and as you can see here yeah 21,000 search volume um, and so I have the Sales Samurai Chrome extension in so it tells me that so I use Sales Samurai for like pretty much everything and like my best-selling items I have used Sales Samurai like it's helped me so much so I've got the link to Sales Samurai um, in the description below if you want to try them out so uh, back to the Etsy search here. So have a look here. And I mean, look at the prices, look at the profit here. So we've got this, uh, these wedding video invitations selling for like $18, $10, like $14. So, you know, it's not like it's, you know, a, a very low cost product, like, you know, two, $3, like you can have um, some great profit here. So I just wanted to share that with you because I, yeah, I, I discovered that while doing my uh, Etsy research. I don't sell invitations anymore. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. If you love this video, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to learn how to list these digital video invitations on Etsy, you can watch this video here.